eyes are running already. On this day, we started off with a bike ride all the way to the beach of Cape Disappointment along the Discovery Trail. On a beach cruiser, this is beyond a workout, but with a mountain bike, I think you'll be fine. This is called the Discovery Trail in El Waco. Oh, here comes a hill. So as you can see, I've stripped off a few layers. We're at the beach. Um, it's just a little stop on our trail. There's a hiking, random hiking boot. Where's the foot? Um, we're we're on the way to Beard's Hollow, which I think I'm looking at right now. Oh my, look at all these pine trees. Come to the beach and get you a tree for Christmas. But yeah, it's just a little few minute break before we hop back on the bikes, which I do not recommend beach cruisers for this. Get you a mountain bike. We are back at the marina. I have a half hour before lunch, so I'm just gonna go for a little walk as if I need it after that bike ride. That was a doozy, but the way coming back, once we could ride nonstop for the most part, that was pretty good, but I don't know if I said it already. I could have I could have thrown up because <laughs> we literally just had breakfast. We had it at, I think it was called El Ferrito. And I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about getting a picture. Once the food finally came, I was like scarfing those pancakes down. They're the, some of the most delicious pancakes I've ever had. We had lunch at At The Helm and ordered this platter that came with oysters, shrimp, calamari, and other goodies. And because I wasn't that hungry, I just got calamari and a green salad for myself. Next, we stopped at the beautiful North Head Lighthouse. You can actually rent out converted homes on the grounds to stay in. We're at Waikiki Beach and there's a lighthouse in the distance right there. An interesting stop on our itinerary was the World Kite Museum and Hall of Fame. Here we saw kites from all over and learned about how kites were even used in war for target practice. We then traveled further into Long Beach into this souvenir store that's home to oddities such as Jake the Alligator Man, Dylan's Cottage Bakery is a one-stop shop for sweet treats. Dinner was had at Mike Covio's, an Italian restaurant. I ordered the clam thin spaghetti because seafood spaghetti is actually my go-to dish when in Italy. And we ended the night at Pickled Fish with live music and cocktails. Okay, I'm in the bathroom because the lighting is so much better in here. Um, you saw everything I did today, breakfast at El Ferrito, then we went on a bike ride um, from the Il Waco Marina to, oh, I forgot the name of the trail, but I said it at some point during this video. Afterwards, we came back and rest for a little bit, I think. And then we went out to um, Long Beach to walk around the town. Then we came back again. And then we, uh, it's still a blur. Then we went out to dinner at, oh, I'm never gonna remember the name of this place. It starts with a C, I'll put it across the screen. I got the steamed clam spaghetti, which is something that I always get in Italy. I always order seafood spaghetti all the time. Um, and it was good, but we've been eating so much. I was stuffed. Um, that's something I forgot. We came back and had lunch at the Helm, which is where I'm staying. And I ate light. I just got a salad and calamari. The calamari was really good. Salad was a salad. Um, so after dinner tonight, we went to 
pickled fish and everybody had drinks. I had a non-alcoholic dark and stormy that was nice and sweet. And yeah, now I'm back. It is the end of our third full day. We're gonna go out a little bit tomorrow and then eventually head to Seattle to the airport and I will be back in LA. And after over a week <laughs> of not even traveling, I mean a little bit, but just a week of being out of the house. This is the longest I've been away outside of like going home to DC for the holidays. Um, it's the longest I've been away in a while. And I guess I'll look forward to being back in the sunshine now that it's started to rain here. Thank you.